welcome to renvil educate channel in this video we will learn some more features of excel let me go to page layout menu in this if you see the first sub menu themes page setup scale to fit select options and arrange now uh, see sometimes you want to change theme of your sheet so there are different themes in the gallery pick a new theme to give your document instant style and just right personality each theme uses a unique set of colors fonts effects so you can select the perfect one uh see i will just drag over any theme you can see the data in this table keeps changing okay initially it was with this gallery theme you can change to frame droplet or berlin or something so let me keep to uh, banded okay now after that you have colors there are different types of colors so keeps on change whenever i'll go down my cursor okay you can keep any color whichever you want okay now there is a font so if you want to change the font of the text or the numbers you can change it so i'll just change to corbel font corbel so you can you can see the difference now from the previous font and the current font okay so this is just a, a little bit a page setup menus and the effects so here you have margins orientation if you want to print or if you want to see in portrait or landscape if you want to keep margin normal wide narrow or there are custom margins also you can uh, change as per your need next we have size see when you want to print maybe you want some time to print an a3 a5 letter format so you have different uh, type of sizes here then print area okay when you want to print you can select this option or you can select a specific text or uh, data or table whichever range you want to print you can select that then comes break then background see here you can insert background to your sheet okay so either you can browse in the internet or you can insert from the uh from your pc which is available see i inserted one uh, background image okay so this i do want to continue with this image i'll just to do control z to go back to the previous okay this is how you will insert the background image then print title okay uh, you can here in this print title suppose you want to uh, keep you are header lines to multiple sheets so you can go here you can select number of rows okay suppose you want to keep this row for multiple sheets uh, you can select this range and if you want to keep the if you want to give a uh, a page number so you have to go to custom footer then insert the page number and press okay and okay now when i go to print review you can see this uh, the header lines is showing to the first sheet second sheet third sheet see down you can see the page number and you can see the header uh, header lines okay so see this is comes for almost all sheets because i given that is by default so this is how you can keep the print titles to the multiple sheets okay so this is one more feature uh rest of the features are not that uh much we are using but 
maybe some of you might be required so you can use whenever you want but most of the usage of these menus are less now let me go to formula see excel is one of the biggest software i believe because you know there are lot of lot of softwares in the market different softwares has different uh, uh, type of features uh, advantages disadvantages but the thing is that for a common man to understand excel will help a lot in excel there are lot of inbuilt formulas and sometimes you can add two three formulas together and you can customize your formula so excel with this formula it will help you to your analyze your data in a best manner you can summarize you can write a formula you can do v lookup you can make a pie table you can make a pie chart you can do whatever you want you can insert your current date current time whatever you want now let me see in this you can see there are first one is insert function suppose if you want to write a function either you can write year by starting equal and then press whichever formula you want suppose example sum i will select sum double click then i will select the range okay so here i have selected the range h3 to h8 then i'll close the bracket then i will enter so here this sum is sum of these uh uh these five amounts okay these five amounts i'll just highlight with this color these five amount you can see when i uh, sum up down also showing okay i'll just mark as yellow and font color as red just to find out to make the difference okay suppose this is i wrote here suppose you don't want to write here instead you can go to formula and insert function so when you click insert function here it will give you some of the re recently used functions so you do want to use this recent in uh, insert function maybe you can change to some different function see whatever you are seeing here there is financial function logical function text function date and time look up all these functions are showing in the drop down so depending upon your requirement you can use this function now what i will do i will select date and time and i will just select here sub function that is date so this is the date and time is a category under date and time category there are numerous functions okay so first function is nothing but returns the number that represents the date in excel okay i will select that date and give okay now year 2022 month i will give 07 okay and the day today is 11th and i'll press okay now you can see it date function shows 11th of july 2022 that is the current date so this i manually input the year month and date suppose you want to pick the system date that is current date and time you can simply write equal and date open and close the bracket it will or you just uh, write today okay it will return the today's date see it will returns the today's date now you want to see this current date in different format so what you can do go to right click go to format cell see here you can see 
date under showy category under category date it is showing so you may want to see what is uh, the including the day you want to see the day and month in the text format see monday july 11 2022 okay so this is one more uh, feature how to insert the formula how to write the formula in excel see there are multiple i am i am not sure how many formulas are there there are i think more than thousands of formulas in excel which you can use for your day by day requirement okay uh, that is functions uh, in excel terminology we can say this is a function and uh, formula okay uh, next you have under this section define names define a name use a, use in formula whatever you are defining a name that you can use in the formula and create from the selection so you can select that name from the list you can create that selection and then you can select from the selection okay next we have formula auditing see sometime when you write the formula since you don't know what is accurate formula you are writing and system will throw some errors so when you when system is showing that errors you want to trace that error you have to find out that error and you have to rectify that error so to that to, to do that excel will help to audit that formula so these are the feature show formula error checking formula suppose i if i click here and if i give error checking okay it will check the errors okay you can suppose there is an error it will not give the result and you can in that case you can either ignore error or you can go and edit that error okay and uh, and you can find the right answer for that error N next we have calculation options see here you can see automatic automatic except for the data table and manual automatic when i enter the range here and the formula it will calculate automatically that amount automatic except for the data table in the sense in the data in the table when you insert the new row if there is the existing formula it will calculate the formula for the even new inserted table inserted row as well and the last one is manual now when i say manual example uh, equal sum close okay I need to write formula manually. Suppose here I will add one more. I will mention 100. See, it is adding automatically. I will make control Z. I will change here manual and I will enter 100. You can see this changes automatic even there that range includes ch6 cell but it will not calculate that amount since i have mentioned here manual options second is automatic accept for data table see now when you see automatic accept data table if the sum of 205441 i will just click delete and again i will enter see it will add because here it is considering that row as that range okay so this is one more feature of uh, calculation now you can see calculating the sheet calculate the active sheet rows okay if there is no total here it will calculate the sum okay now maybe i will press the cursor here and 
I will queue calculate it is not considering here I'll check the down see it is considering here then okay so that is uh, actually this formula is given to calculate the active sheet now okay active sheet row so to do that shift plus f9 shift plus f9 so this will give you number of rows in the current sheet okay friends i try to explain some features in this session if you like this video kindly write a nice comment below this video if if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe my youtube channel kindly share my videos with your friends and if you know something better and if you want to learn some more features you can write in the description so that i can create videos based on that requirement thank you friends for watching this video